I, uh, one of the fascinating aspects of this for me was in, in mental health is this whole idea of possession. And uh, Casey acknowledged that, yes, possession can take place, again, through pressure upon some portion of the anatomical structure that would make for the disengaging of the natural flow of the mental body through the physical in its relationship to the soul influence. One may be dispossessed of mind. Thus, you say rightly, he is out of his mind. Okay. So this idea, again, that there's this mental body, the soul is flowing through these centers, and if there's pressure on these centers, it can be deflected, and the person can be opened up and left vulnerable to possession. Now, I could give a whole lecture just on possession, but case, basically what Casey was mostly referring to here was discarnate possession. He used the term influence, discarnate influence. Okay, So you leave yourself vulnerable to that. Um, actually, in, in my study of schizophrenia, I found five cases where he recommended the, uh, the violet ray as a treatment in all five of those cases were cases of possession where he pointed out possession. And in this excerpt from 2863-2, he's talking about using electrical treatment, one form of electrotherapy, the ultraviolet, to treat the physical problem. But he's saying also use the violet ray to prevent possession or impression from psychic forces outside the body. Okay. So he said the, the discarnate souls coming in and trying to inhabit the physical body through these centers wouldn't be able to stand that energy. It would drive them out. 